Hello and welcome to Mapping Key Gaming's Halloween Spooktacular. Ooh. Well, for the month of October, we are focusing on spooky and creepy games. And today, we are going to learn how to play Similo Spookies. Find out the secret character. Now, Similo is a 2-8 player game that plays approximately 10-15 to 15 minutes and is for ages 7 and up. Now, Simulo is actually a pretty simple game that can be actually more complicated when you add an additional deck. We're not going to do that today. Today we're just going to learn how to play with just a single deck, with just the spookies here. But there is a way for you to incorporate the other uh, games that they have available, like the fairy tales and then the wild animals that you see on the back of the box here. They have a library of different versions of Simulo. You're going to find I know they have a Myths one, Historical Figures one, Wild Animals one. So they have a few different kinds that you can mix and match and play in this. But here, we're just going to stick strictly to the basic game that comes in the box. So with that, let's begin. There's going to be a clue giver. So you're going to have to choose one person who is going to draw a card and he's going to know who the secret character is. And then everyone else are the guessers and then they have to guess and figure out who the secret character is. So let's move this off to the side and then here's our deck. Okay, just shuffle that up here a little bit and then just whoever's on the top. So our secret character is going to be the evil scientist. So now the clue giver Okay, doesn't show this to everyone, right? He's the only one who knows uh, who the secret character is. He is going to draw an additional 11 cards. So he's going to have a total of 12 in his hand. Okay. So now that we have 12 in our hand, he's going to shuffle it up. And then the clue giver is going to make a grid of the different cards face up here that the guessers are going to have to eliminate and try to figure out which one is the secret character. And so let's, we'll cut to that now. So with the grid laid out like this, okay, as the clue giver, I know that, that it's the evil scientist is the one that they need to get. So the game is going to, is going to be played over five rounds. Now the first round, the guessers are going to eliminate one card, the second round, two cards, the third round, three cards, and then the fourth round, four cards, and then the final round, it'll be up down to the last two cards. If the secret character, in this case, the science, evil scientist, gets eliminated, then everyone loses. So the only way to win is for him to be the last character out of the ones out here on the grid. What the clue giver is going to do next is once he has set up the grid like this, he's going to draw five cards. Or they're going to draw five cards. One, two, three, four, five. So in this case here, the clue giver has five cards. And now he's going to use one of these here to communicate with everyone else so that they can eliminate a card that is not the evil scientist. So, hmm. so maybe the first card that they would put would be maybe the Frankenstein's monster. So that would get set up just like this, going straight up so everyone can see him. And, and that lets everyone know that the, this card here is similar to the card that is out there. If it is put horizontally, then that means that it is dissimilar. It is not like this card. And so everyone would have to, you know, think that it's not like this card. So we're going to put it up here because, I don't know, science. <laughs> this, uh, this isn't a great hand for us to choose from for this, but from, from this right here, 
Okay, you're looking at a male character, a character that has gray, because half of his card is gray, half of it is green. Um, that might be pull, stretching it a little bit. And this is the way how it, how it plays out. The guessers will sit there and talk amongst themselves, trying to figure out how the clue giver thinks and is trying to communicate using this card here. So if this card was, was ever given to me and it was something like this straight up, I would probably say the one that is not like that card there would be the Haunted Doll. I think that would be the closest guess that I have on that right there. So the Haunted Doll would be eliminated. So we'll just put the Haunted Doll there off to the side. And then the Clue Giver would draw another card. In this case here we have the Banshee. And then we move on to round two. So the Clue Giver would look at his card. And you know what? We're going to go with experiments here. And we'll, we're going to put the Invisible Man. So here we we have experiments that have gone wrong, right? Frankenstein's monster and the Invisible Man. So hopefully that the you know the guessers would pick up on that and would be like, okay, well maybe science is involved with these two here. So you could easily eliminate you know the demon here and the ghost. So we'll eliminate those two and then that would be second round eliminating two cards okay the clue giver picks up another card in this case here he he drew the oni or i drew the oni and so now i have these three cards or these five cards i'm sorry I see a lot of cards with green out there, so maybe I would use like the swamp monster here and put and put him horizontally. So he's not like the monster the swamp monster. So hopefully everyone would understand that I'm trying to convey that there is no green. And they do. And so in this case they would get rid of the goblin. Cthulhu here. And who else is kind of green here? maybe the ghoul and so at any time you can readjust the the grid here it doesn't affect the game at all it just makes it easier to see you know pushing push everything together and then we would move on to the fourth round which is draw another card And so this, in this case here, we have the Scarecrow. So maybe I would do something like this. Put, this, put the witch up. So then, who would be eliminated? Uh, the green, so here we would maybe eliminate the Yeti, the Headless Horseman, no monster, so there's no, no Wolfman. So that's three. And then let's say that maybe they, the guessers figured out that maybe, um, maybe there's no killer. Because he's also kind of green, his card. So then this is what the final round would look like. Something like this. And so the the clue giver would draw one more card in this case the boogeyman which that doesn't really help but maybe what we would do now is put the oni down so we're going to put the oni down and the reason why we put the Oni down is because his hair is pointing out to the side like that. And so if the guessers were, were able to figure out, you know, to get rid of the clown, then this is victory. If they had chosen the evil scientist, 
then this is definitely a loss. And that's how you play Similo Spookies. Okay, so that was how to play Similo, the base game, the one that comes, you know, right out of the out of the box, right there. And as you can see, there are a large variety of cards to choose from. So the game is going to be pretty dynamic. Everyone is going to be talking, except the clue giver. The clue giver is going to have to sit there and be thinking, how am I going to get these cards to fit, and how am I going to get everyone to understand what I'm trying to uh, convey here. And I think it's a great game. I'm, I'm really looking forward to getting another set and adding it to this one here. This is a game that is simple to play, simple for people to figure out, it's, you know, there's not a lot of rules to bog it down, so you could play this a group of people and have it be a little bit of an icebreaker, a little bit of a um, conversation starter. And like I said, there is there are other versions of this. It can always be fresh. This time, you know, you, you play with the spooky characters. The other time, you'll play with the fairy tale characters. Another time, with animals. So that is how to play similar. If you like this kind of content, please give me a thumbs up. And subscribe down below up here in in the corner I'm going to have the eye and I'll have all of the games from our Halloween spooktacular available there for you to take a look at and see what we unboxed and what games we talked about and and my other videos like that and don't forget down below I'd have my social medias so if you want to check out some of the photos that I've taken of the different games and to see upcoming previews those are available down below and until next time boy there are a lot of weird looking strangers out there